Hey guys, I, uh, I've been trying to clean between the radiator and the condenser. The reason being, there's a ton of leaves and twigs and whatnots in there, dirt. I don't know if you can see, it's pretty hard because there's not a lot of room in here. Let me see if I can, yeah. You can see there's a ton of stuff in there which is probably not helping with the, with the cooling. It's just, I don't want that stuff in there. So I try to remove the radiator and that's a major job because I don't wanna break anything. Uh, I would need to remove the hood. I work alone, so I cannot do that. And then you have to take out, take apart too many things. So anyway, what I'm experimenting with I have my shop vac, but I found here in the garage a piece of PVC, it's a half inch PVC. And what I did is I, I cut a couple of pieces of, you know, I looked in the junk pile that I, that I keep around here. I found these um, kind of thick rubber pieces. So I made these type of gaskets and I bought this, thing made by Craftsman, which is a one and a quarter inch vacuum hose, but it has the adapter for the, for the two, uh, two and a half inch uh, opening here. So that was, that was great. And uh, I tried it and actually I cleaned the vac first and actually it, it works. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep on vacuuming this thing and see how much of that stuff I can get out of there. Hopefully most of it because it looks really, really bad in there. So let me try that next. So the plan is to get this thing in here and I cut the end of it at a little bevel. So maybe it allows me to, uh, to really get to the bottom of this thing a lot better. And uh, Remove as much of this, much of this stuff as, as possible. I want to be careful with the uh, radiator veins. I don't want to bend or damage any of those fins. Let's see what happens. Because this is only a half inch uh, pipe, some of the stuff gets caught, but I can still get it out of there. So that's, that's good. I'm not gonna put you through the whole process of vacuuming this thing, but uh, we'll do a recap when I'm done. All right, so I'm done with all the vacuuming and it is not perfect, but it's a lot better. There's a lot of twigs and, and little things caught in between the, um, the fins. And um, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about that. But for the most part, I got most of it out. And I also, what I did is I, I grabbed the uh, two and a quarter inch hose and my vac has a port, an exit port here so I can blow air out instead of sucking dirt in. And uh, I just blew some of that trash out of there and then I vacuumed the, uh, the whole thing again. So, very happy with my little uh, wand that I made. Works really well. Um, 
maybe this angle here should have been a, a lot more pronounced, like something like that, like really aggressive, it give, it give you a little more reach. But uh, again, I was just improvising and it worked really well. And you definitely need a, a shop bag, otherwise a, a house bag is not gonna, it's not gonna do it. Let's see inside. Check it out. All that crap was in there. And uh, I mean, why, you know? <laughs> so anyway, uh, if you wanna make your own um, radiator cleaning wand, half inch or whatever, you know, a half inch, you, you need a half inch pipe because a PVC pipe, the reason being is that you're not gonna have a lot of room in between the uh, the core support and the radiator. Mine does not have the seals for the for the uh, top area here. So I, I ordered some from eBay. They should be here next week. They're a one by one uh, neoprene rubber or foam and uh, they have an adhesive backing so i'm gonna see about you know kind of sealing these areas where the uh snorkel goes i figured some of that you know trash was coming in and then going you know back into the uh the cavity here between the radiator and the uh, condenser i just wanted to give you a close-up of the seal slash gasket I made. I had some leftover uh, neoprene. I don't even know where this came from, but uh, it's a quarter inch thick. And what I did is, you know, I, I um, used crazy glue to um, secure it to the PVC pipe. You can see one of my um, openings here and then the other one is opposite so when you insert the the vacuum hose you have a very tight fit no air loss and what i i would recommend if you're going to do something similar is you definitely need to have in, in addition to the crazy glue uh, an activator because then th this stuff will really stick to the uh to the pvc and then using my convenient measuring tape here on the workbench I uh, this is a four foot um, half inch uh, PVC pipe again the only thing that I would do different is to cut this you know I made a little like a 45 degree cut in here I would be more aggressive with that it would give you a better I guess suction sur uh, surface. I don't know because at the end of the day, you have to get this thing all the way to the bottom of the uh, core support, and sometimes the 45 worked really well for that. I don't know if it was more aggressive. Still, you know, with a with a shop vac, you're gonna get plenty of suction. But anyway, this is a keeper now. I made my own. Um, I don't even know what to call it. Radiator cleaning wand. <laughs> patent pending just kidding and um so i'm gonna keep this this thing somewhere around here because i know it'll come in handy some other time all right guys so that's it for now thanks again for watching take care